2,000 kilometers northeast of Lesotho, which doesn't make sense because that's... Oh, it's, <laughs> it's Madagascar? Because otherwise it's the ocean. Yeah, it's Madagascar. Okay. Fair enough. I don't know. I, I've never seen the movie, so I don't, I don't know where vanilla comes from. David Schwimmer's in it, right? He plays like a... Plays an animal of some sort. By the way, I got to tell you, last night, Kate and I, I and some, it's rare that I crack myself up, okay? But I was talking to Kate about how, like, when I first came to Vancouver, we went to the aquarium. This was, like, 2012, and they still had cetaceans, right? Like, they still had, uh, I think they had a, an orca or a beluga or something. And then Kate said, yeah, the aquarium got in, like, a long fight with protesters because they were like, we need to keep our orca uh, or our beluga because it's blind like we're doing conservation work here and like if we release the cetacean into the wild it's just gonna die like it's not it's a beluga okay if we release the beluga into the wild it's not going to be capable of surviving out there it's been in captivity too long and the protesters were like we don't care there should never be cetaceans like in captivity they're too smart which is you know probably true but this is kind of like maybe they should have been a little grandfathered in anyway so then they got pressured into releasing the beluga into the wild. And then I said to Kate, I said, I just, it breaks my heart thinking of that poor blind motherfucker out there in the middle of the ocean getting a little bit hungry. And then he's like, okay. And he comes out and he does like two backflips in the middle of the ocean with no observers. And then he like waiting for like a bucket of chum to get thrown into his mouth. He's like, what? What's going on? He gets up on his tail and goes like, kick, 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 no, nobody's nobody's throwing the chum in my mouth, man. What's going on? I'm doing a, I'm shooting water out of my blowhole onto the splash zone, and nobody's giving me any rewards for it. it makes me want to fucking cry, dude. It's Monday. I'm so sad. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking about it, man. They should have kept. I, I'm not in like a. I'm not well versed in the issue, but I feel like they should have just left him in captivity, man. Like he, he was probably comfortable and then don't take any more. That's fine. You don't have to turn it into Marine land. I'm just saying, I'm just picturing this poor dude out here doing tricks in like the middle of the Pacific Ocean for, for nothing. Getting laughed at, but all by all like the phytoplankton and stuff. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. It's just a, it was a very funny mental image for me but also like it's the funniest type of thing because it's also like a little sad don't nobody love marine land yeah kate watched like a youtube video about marine land and i was like why is this guy hating on marine land and then i watched it and i was like oh that's why because of like all the animal rights abuses and the fact that the amusement park fucking sucks as a kid, I just know, there's a place I know in Ontario where the dolphins rise up in Friendship Cove. Can I just say something? Last night before he fell asleep, at Northern Lion lifted his arm like he was giving a salute and then he laughed. Yeah, I remember, um, I remember, be, you know, like you're falling asleep. I would say that like sleep is like a gradient, right? I was more asleep than awake. I just remember being in bed and then like lifting my arm like straight up like this. And then my wife looking at me and then I like, like got shocked back into consciousness and I didn't know what to say. So I was just like, I just laughed and said good night. Like I didn't know what was, <laughs> I didn't know why my brain was doing it, man. I've done it before too. There's been times where like, I, I'm like having a dream and I wake up and I like wake Kate up and I say something that's like complete nonsense. And then she says, what the hell are you talking about? And then I say, uh, like in my head, I'm like, the shit I just said was fucking stupid. But I don't know how to explain that I now know that it's stupid, but like I'm still too dumb from being asleep to like resolve the situation. So I just go like, you don't get it. You don't get it. And then I go back to bed. It's just like I can't find the words. Like in my head, I'm like, I, I know that what I just said is stupid, but I can't say like, sorry, I was half asleep. Instead, I'm like, um, uh, you don't get it. Good night. To be fair, I don't dream about making jokes because I don't 
I don't really make jokes. I guess I'm not really known to make jokes. I will admit it. Um, I'm not that kind of a person. But oh boy, I do get to. But you know, you know what I get to see or what I get to experience that you guys don't is that when he does think about jokes in his dreams, he does laugh out loud in real life in bed, and it's the most creepiest shit of all time. I'm just lying there about to fall asleep. And I just hear like, <laughs> like while my, and then I like see Ryan and his eyes closed and everything. And then he goes, and then he goes like, Ooh. and I'm like, what the fuck is happening? Like, he's like haunted, like, like devil, devil got him, dude, devil got him. And then I'm like, when it first happened, I got really worried. So I said, Ryan, are you okay? And then Ryan opened his eyes and he looked at me and he said, you won't even get it. And then he fell back to sleep. And I was like, what the fuck? I was worried about him. And then he just said, you won't even get it. And then he just rolled. Like he just like literally rolled away from me and then fell back to sleep. And then in the morning I woke up and I was like, Ryan, do you remember what happened last night? And then Ryan's like, no. And I'm like, you laughed in your sleep. What the hell? And then He's like, what? I did? And I'm like, yeah. And then I got worried. So I woke you up and said, are you okay? And then you looked at me and then you said, you don't even understand. Or you won't even understand. And then you rolled your eyes and then you rolled away from me. And then you fell back to sleep. And I found that pretty rude. And then Ryan was laughing his ass. I'm like, oh my god, that's so funny. And I'm like, what the fuck? I just got laughed at twice. So even though I'm not laughing in my sleep thinking about jokes. I am witnessing firsthand of a man who is doing it as creepy as fuck. And then I saw on the internet those who who laughs when they're sleeping. Apparently, they have like if I put it nicely, they have a really high um, pride. They're very prideful. If if I put it like negatively. They're like little egoistic is what I saw. And I was like, I don't know, I saw it on internet that like if you laugh when you're sleeping, like it means like you're a little egoistic, my dude. And then Ryan's like, so true, so true. And I'm like, will you admit it? <laughs> I was like, maybe I'm a little bit like that. He's like, anyone who's not me is not real people anyway. They're all just uh they're just uh, made out of zeros and ones. <laughs> NPC believer. <laughs> I mean, the corner jokes is really good. Stop with the corner jokes!